And here we go. I don't remember if I did this part. The only reason I'm doing it is... <laughs> I'm only doing it because she gives you Mewtwo's Mega Stones. Oh, yeah. Good point. It's gonna be a little overpowered. Yeah, I already caught it, and I'm gonna kick your ass using it. <laughs> Except for the part where, like, four of her Pokémon have Dark-type moves. Oh, really? Yeah, I think Clefable and Blastoise are the only ones that don't. Oh. Uh, if I'm remembering correctly, because let's see. Uh, Kangaskhan has Sucker Punch. Uh, Victory Bell has Sucker Punch. Gengar has Dark Pulse. And Nine Tails has Dark Pulse. Sucker Punch doesn't count though because whenever you use it, it never happens. <laughs> oh yeah, Nine Tails also has foul play. Oh, wow. okay. Speaking of Nine Tails. Uh oh. That was, like, no damage. Yeah... Um... Chansey, go! <laughs> Hopefully it's not physical. I don't think it has anything physical outside of foul play. Yeah, and foul play is gonna do zero against Chansey. Basically. That's still a significant amount of damage. Yeah, so... Uh... Actually, let's soft-boiled. What? Oh. What happened? It, it used oh, foul that. play. Yeah, but Dude. Chansey also has an attack of, like, five. And foul play uses the opponent's attack stat to calculate damage. Basically, it's the Pokémon equivalent of stop hitting yourself, stop hitting yourself! Yeah. I like how it's using Foul Play, even though Fire Blast was doing, like, at least twice the damage. I think the Kuba damage, or at least the AI, is like, hmm, what's the lowest stat they have, and what's the highest damage? Uh, what's the... Highest base highest power. Damage? And all well, that. Highest base power, but like the what what's physical and special, what's best against them, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, well, that makes stalling this thing a bit easier. Yeah. Hey, Chansey, could you learn superpower and start using that? <laughs> Although that would also lower my defense, so uh, never mind. Yeah. Clearly, you should have taught Chansey spikes also. <laughs> God, imagine. Imagine if Chansey could get spikes. That'd be so silly. My favorite teams in Pokemon with a really silly, super fast... Uh, you, you lay spikes twice, or three times, I can't remember what the max is on that. Three. Toxic. Toxic Spikes twice, Stealth Rock once, and then you Whirlwind constantly. <laughs> it's the least fair team in the game. I would beg to differ. Looks at the replay I posted in my server. I suppose, but like... <laughs> Para Flinch... Well, just Serene Grace Flinch in general is... Less bad, I reckon. And then poison. And also, you can get through substitute with sound uh, sound moves now. I think. Yeah, that's true. I I I need to keep that in mind. I guess next time I uh, do one of these tournaments. Anyway, Kangaskhan. Yeah, Kangaskhan is not what you want to have Chansey out against. Melmetal has a big defense. Yeah, but I forget if the Kangaskhan has, like, Earthquake or anything. 
Uh, it's only the, the most it can do is brick break. Oh, well, I guess that's not too bad. Last you. Thank you. This will still probably do like 85 million damage, but. Yeah, but still, Melmetal has like a stupid high defense stat. Yeah, that's gonna be a 3 hit KO. That's still fine. Yeah. I reckon Double Lion Bash is gonna do a significant amount. And unfortunately, it's also going to be a 3 hit KO. Oh, rip. Well, you have potions, so just use it all for this turn. Yeah. Unless this crits, which it doesn't. <laughs> oh, you're on. You're down to full ma max potions. Oh, jeez. Well, I have full restores. Oh, true. And then it crits. It didn't crit. And then this one crits. Okay, it didn't crit. Okay, so what's next? Uh, oh, Gengar. Gengar is scary. You just also use Chansey because it's all special. Oh, yeah. Well, no, I can't damage it. Because it. Oh. Seismic Toss oh, won't affect it, is... and yeah. So, oh. unless I really feel like prolonging this fight. Um, I'm thinking Agumon, because Glitzy Glow. That'll make it easier for something else. Yeah, Agumon sounds good. And it's, sh and it's Wall Breaker is gone now. I just gotta hope Sludge Bomb or whatever doesn't kill me in one hit. Oh, yeah. But this is also the starter EV. It's gonna have, like, the stats of a level 500 right about now. Or I could use Will O Wisp. <laughs> Which you avoid anyway. Yeah. Excellent. Alright, well, let's use Batty Bad. Okay, now it uses Sludge Bomb. Alright, yeah, I would have survived. Oh, now it hits me with what? The hell was this AI? That's so weird. It's a bit weird. <laughs> Batty Bad. <laughs> Batty Bad is the greatest move name. Okay, Victory Bell. Uh, physical. Yeah, so that's just another reason to go Mel Metal. Yeah, or Charizard. Oh, yeah, that too. But Mel Metal is cooler. Yeah, that is true. And you resist, like, everything here. Or at least you would have if Sucker Punch was, a uh, Yeah. Was still resistant. Well, if Steel was still resistant against Dark. Yeah, I'll see how much power Whip does. Yeah, that's about... that. That's actually less than I thought it would, would be. Not gonna lie. Oh my god, that's nothing. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god. That's stab too. Yeah. And Power Whip is like one of those 120 power moves, right? Mm. Yeah, it's 120 power, 85 accuracy. Hey Superman. Yeah, um... I'm just... I'm gonna say this right now. Cause, you know, this'll totally prevent future people from saying stuff, but um... Uh, I, I, I just, 
I have a zero tolerance pol po policy for uh, sword and shield leaks in this chat. Yeah. If, if if you say anything, I will ban you. I don't give a shit. Oh, I had reflect. Okay, so that's probably why oh, yeah, Power Whip was doing so little. Oh no, his and shield. <laughs> I made the mistake of playing Africa by Toto in the RSC sound font, and it's drowning out the stream. <laughs> what? Why would you do that? Because Africa. You gotta bless those rains down in Africa. Bless the rains down in Hoenn. <laughs> It's Kyogre's new theme song. Yeah, that's just a reason for the Cliff Fairy. Not the Fairy. Fairy. Chansey. Well, that thing's dead as shit. Oh, yeah. Alright, last last time. And I know this thing has Ice Beam. So I can't just go into Zapdos. Chancy time. Yeah, because I think the only physical move it has is Fake Out. Yeah. Watch Fake Out will somehow one hit, one shot me. Yeah, that's what I'm unfortunately kind of thinking might happen. Nah, it's not. Th there's no way. And I know those are famous last words, but there really is no way. And then it just doesn't use Fake Out anyway. Nah, it did. Okay. And that did do more than I thought it would, though, I'll say that. That's a lot of damage. And that... I, I forgot that it would have... ...done that much damage with... Oh! That, that wasn't a even mega. a me. That wasn't even a me. Oh god. So I wouldn't even soft boiled here. I would just kind of. Yeah, but Pog Champ Chansey, like holy crap. Yeah, that was slightly silly. Well, how do you pronounce a me? It, it is a me. That's what I thought. Oh, uh, oh maybe it's not whole on me. Let me look at the accent on the E on me. Oh, you're... Okay, he's just funnin'. Help, my mod is being mean to me. <laughs> okay, yeah, Poké Ami just doesn't have an accent on it. Oh. So, it's just Ami. Like, Mon Ami. Like, my friend, in French. Alright, let's see how much Psychic does. Or I could just use Recover. I'm gonna use Recover. Yeah, Recover is probably a good idea with how fast you are. Well, I mean, Psychic might kill it from there. It'll definitely kill it after another round of Toxic. That was a lot more damage than I expected you to take from Hydro Pump. Yeah, well... I mean, it, it is a Mega Blastoise. Yeah. And this thing also doesn't have any candy or anything. Anyway, as promised, I kicked her ass with Mewtwo. Kind of. Kind of. Anyway, make a stones. Mewtwo, so it was good enough. <laughs> Why don't you become one of my Pokémon together with Mewtwo? Sounds like a plan. A Pokéball came flying at you. A Pokeball came flying at you. What the fuck? 
And then this is- it's just locked into this just forever. Did you you? <laughs> you found a Pokeball. You found a Pokeball. That was a little bit silly. It's just a little bit. Completely unreasonable that you can't just pick up your own Pokeballs, but you can pick up other trainers. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, I have escape Don't ropes. You have escape ro yeah, I was gonna say. <laughs> Wait a minute. Uh, Eevee's, like, wagging. I thought. Maybe. It'd be on the other side of the the ramp. Oh, he looks fossil. Log. Okay, now we can get out of here. There they are. I have seven now escape get... ropes. Now you can get two uh, overnights. Yes. Okay, so... Uh... Oh, you know, you're kind of, like, half-dead. A little bit. Also, a nice emote. It's just the praise it emote. It, yeah, I, I... I know, but... It's a good emote. What's that one blank thing you have next to, um... Pewter? The... Oh, Diglett's Cave? Oh, I forgot that I... we never went into Diglett's Cave. Yeah. Yeah, I just kind of avoid that place. But, yeah. That that would be Diglett's Cave. I also just haven't been onto uh, Route 13. Yeah. But I've somehow been on Route 14, okay. I forget- I keep forgetting that Diglett's Cave, if you're not doing the standard gym order, Diglett's Cave is, like, completely nothing. Though, no, it's not even in the standard gym water because it just brings you back to pewter, whatever. Yeah. I think I just use it to get fossils done. I can't remember if that's post game. Whatever, Kanto's a mess. Yeah, basically. <laughs> Wait, was there a master trainer in the Pokemon Center? Yeah, it was a it was a drowsy. Oh, good. 